Welcome to pre-math. In this video we have got this uh, rectangle uh, A, B, C, D that has been uh, folded at this uh, line uh, P, S as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this angle uh, B, P, T is 45 degrees and the width uh, of this rectangle uh, C, D has been given to us as uh, square root of 8 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, triangle uh, PST. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow shaded triangle uh, PST. And since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, triangle. And now let's make an observation. We can see the width uh, of this rectangle uh, has been given to us as square root of uh, 8 units. So therefore uh, this width uh, AB is going to be square root of 8 units as well. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times base times the height of the triangle. And here we can see the base uh, of this uh, yellow shaded triangle is uh, this uh, side uh, ST. And the height of this uh, yellow shaded triangle is going to be simply this width uh, AB which is uh, square root of uh, 8. So thus the height uh, of this uh, triangle is going to be square root of 8. However, we don't know the base uh, of this uh, triangle. So we need to calculate uh, this side uh, ST length and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, angle is going to be congruent to this angle both of them are uh, alternate angles since uh, these uh, sides are uh, parallel so therefore uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well and now we are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make our job simple as you can see in this uh, next step I have extended uh, this line uh, TS and this line uh, BT such that uh, they are uh, parallel to each other. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this angle and this angle they are going to be congruent since they are our folding angles. If this angle is alpha then this angle has got to be alpha as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, state angle uh, is 180 degrees and that is going to be equal to alpha plus alpha angle plus 45 degrees is going to be equal to 180 degrees so therefore we could write uh, angle alpha plus angle alpha plus 45 degrees is going to be equal to 180 degrees Let's simplify that is going to give us 2 alpha plus uh, 45 degrees uh, equals to 180 degrees. And now we are going to subtract 45 degrees from both sides. This is gone. So 2 times uh, alpha turns out to be equal to 135 degrees. And now we are going to divide both sides by 2 to isolate alpha. So therefore our angle alpha value turns out to be 67.5 degrees. So thus our uh, this angle alpha value turns out to be 67.5 degrees and likewise this angle is going to be 67.5 degrees as well. And now let's focus once again on this uh, yellow shaded triangle PST. We know the sum of uh, these uh, three interior angles uh, is always equal to 180 degrees and we know this angle is our 45 degrees angle this angle is 67.5 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 67.5 degrees as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, yellow shaded triangle uh, is uh, an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this angle is 67.5 degrees and this angle is uh, 67.5 degrees as well and since this is an isosceles triangle so therefore uh, this side uh, st length uh, is going to be equal to this side uh, pt length 
So thus we can see that these two sides uh, ST and PT are congruent. And in this uh, next step I have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, PE on this uh, base uh, ST. And now let's focus on this uh, tiny triangle uh, DEP. We know this angle is our 45 degrees angle. This is our 90 degrees angle. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees angle since the sum of three interior angles is always equal to 180 degrees. So therefore we could see that this uh, right triangle uh, TEP is our isosceles triangle as well. Since uh, this angle is our 45 degrees angle and this angle is uh, 45 degrees as well. So therefore we conclude that this uh, segment uh, TE is going to be equal to this uh, perpendicular uh, PE. As you can see in this given equation TE equals to PE length. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, PE perpendicular length uh, is going to be equal to this width uh, square root of 8. So therefore uh, this perpendicular PE length uh, turns out to be square root of 8 units. And since uh, this side uh, PE equals to square root of 8, so therefore uh, this uh, T length is going to be square root of 8 uh, as well. And now since we figured out these two side length uh, TE and uh, PE, and now we are going to calculate uh, this uh, diagonal uh, PT length. So therefore we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle TEP. And here is our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case uh, the hypotenuse uh, of this uh, triangle is uh, PT length. Whereas our two other legs are uh, square root of 8 uh, and square root of 8 as well. Let's go ahead and fill in the blank. So we got uh, square root of 8 uh, whole uh, square plus likewise uh, square root of 8 uh, whole square equals to our hypotenuse is uh, pt square or simply pt square is going to be equal to 16. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both the sides. So therefore our PT length simply turns out to be positive for units. So therefore our this PT length turns out to be 4 units. And now since our this PT length turns out to be 4 and we know that PT length equal to ST length. So therefore this whole ST length turns out to be 4 units as well. And here is our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, triangle uh, PST. And now let's recall once again the area of the triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times uh, base times the height of the triangle. And in our case uh, the base of this uh, yellow shaded triangle is uh, 4 units. Whereas the height uh, of this triangle is uh, square root of 8. So therefore uh, the yellow shaded triangle PST area is going to be equal to a half times the base of this uh, triangle is 4 times the height uh, is square root of 8. And now we can see 1 divided by 2 times 4 reduces to simply 2. So therefore we could write uh, 2 times the square root of uh, 8. And now let's focus on this uh, square root of 8. This could be written as uh, square root of 4 times uh, square root of uh, 2. And we know square root of 4 is uh, 2. So that is going to be equal to 2 times uh, square root of 2. Simply that is going to be equal to 4 times uh, square root of 2 square uh, units. The area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle uh, PST. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle PST turns out to be 4 times square root of 2 square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 5.66 uh, square units as well. So therefore uh, the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle turns out to be 4 times the square root of 2 
square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye